there, I'm Abby. Welcome to Abby's Den. Now, in today's video, I want to talk to you about the dreaded overlocker. Yes, indeed, we're going over the overlocker again today, but this time we're going to look at needles. Now, needles can be quite overwhelming to understand if you don't understand the codes. You get your manual with your machine, and then in the manual, it will tell you a specific needle to use. Now, the problem with that is you might have trouble finding locating that machine needle it's like finding well a needle in a haystack so you search high and low and you can spend some extortionate prices actually for some of those needles now today's video i'm going to share some of my knowledge with you now this isn't an opinion this is fact-based i have spoken to companies like janome brother necky i've asked them which needles I should be using in my overlocker. I've also spoken to shops who sell sewing machines up and down the country because then they gather first-hand information from people like you and me who have experience on using sewing machines and speaking to them about what their findings are about needles. I will go over the coding system, explain what this 130-705H means and where it comes from and then what we can do to understand the different sizing and explain that to you very, very simply. So stick with me. I'm gonna go through it all today with you and then I'm gonna show you at the end which needle type that I would use for the projects that I sew. So let's get to it right now. So have a look at these sewing machine needles. These are all from different companies, different brands, and they're all different types. For example, here I have the hem stitch needle. These create wonderful designs in your fabric. Then we have these leather needles. These are great for thick. They're the 130705 that you'll see on all the machines. Now, FAF created this 130 system, and that just means it's a domestic sewing machine needle. FAF are part of a conglomerate with Singer and Viking, so that's the SVP company worldwide and you can go to their website and learn a little bit more but their system is the 130 system and Siga started using it and it sort of became universal now when Elna a Swiss company came along they created the 705 system which looks exactly the same as the 130 system so the 705 needle is an Elna design now Elna were bought out by Janome in the 90s when they went bankrupt so Janome now still use the Elna system so you will still see that some of the Janome sewing machines are still asking for the Elna system the 705 and they won't actually include the 130 on their machine needles now here let me show you these overlocker needles these are classed as overlocker needles because they have an extra groove on the back. So I've opened the packet and I'm comparing it to a Singer sewing machine needle. This is just a standard regular woven needle next to my special ELX705. So I've got them here and I'm looking for this extra groove on the back and I actually can't see anything but I've just realised I'm looking at a Singer size 90 compared to the Schmet size 80. So I'm going to just change the needles over. So being a bit disappointed in not seeing any difference, what I've done is I've laid all the needles out of uh, their packets and I've got roughly size 80 in all of them. Now these Janome ones for the overlocker, the HA1SP, they only come in 75 or a 90. Just like these ones from Prim, they only come in a 75 or a 90. And they've made from the same brand. Now the interesting one here is this Singer one. This Singer one was supplied with my overlock. Now with the Singer machine, you can see they use the system in the 20s. So it's a 2022 is their knit or jersey ball point needle, whichever one you want to call it. And again, it comes in a size either 14 or an 11. And that's their stretch needle, again, suitable for their overlockers. Now, now you might be wondering, can you use regular sewing machine needles in your Singer overlocker? Well, you can. And you can tell because even though we've got the coding 2022, 20s, the 2028s and the 2045s, on these packets, you can see that they've actually converted that their catalogue is 2020 
but they do use the 13705 there and they have stated it there. So these are compatible. What they're saying is that these machines are exactly the same as the 130 and they're exactly the same as the 705. So you're safe to use everyday regular sewing machine needles for your domestic sewing machine in your Singer overlocker. I've got some universal needles here. These are all for woven fabrics. This size 80 Schmetz is for woven fabrics and men. We move on to the 80 Jersey needles from Schmetz. The cover stitch or overlocker needle there and those from Schmetz, those are from Organ. Again, Organ, but these are specific to what Janome requests that we use in their machines, like these Organ ones. And then I've got some standard stretch sewing machine needles, not designed specifically for overlockers. Now, before we go any further, let me just show you the sizing on these needles. We've got a 60 size here um, with the number eight underneath. Then we've got 70, then we've got 80, 90, and 100. They are ranging between the 10 and the 16. Then we have over here 80, 90, and 100 they tend to go up in tens occasionally you will find that the needle goes up as a 75 and that's usually on these stretch needles or embroidery needles and what they are is the thickness of the shaft of the needle is measured metrically so that's 0.6 millimeters thick it's suggested that this lower number the 10 the 16 and the 14 represent old traditional singer method of measuring it could be imperial we're not sure i've not found any data or information to confirm either way so i use the metric sizing anyway and i tend to use 80 most of the time in my sewing machines because it's a good solid needle and it will work with thin fabrics and thick fabric generally medium weight fabrics like cotton now my overlocker, which is from Janome, recommends that I use only the HA times 1SP sewing machine needle. Now let me draw your attention again to the 130 and the 705 and the H. The 130 is a universal standard sized sewing machine needle, which is equivalent to the Elner sized 705 sewing machine needle. So if it is a standard universal needle, the H is telling me it's a household domestic sewing machine needle and we know that because it's flat at the back. What we want to look at is the HA times 1SP. Okay, so I spoke to Janome about it and got in-depth information on it. The HA just means it's a household needle. So it's for a household sewing machine. The 1SP, it just means that each one of them is stretch point. Now how they've made these needles is that they've given them bigger eyes and the bigger eye is down simply to the fact that you are going to use a thicker thread on your overlocker. Now the other thing about these needles is they have an extra groove on them. They will allow the machine to work at fast speeds without the threads coming out, snapping and shredding. Now let me show you the two distinct differences between these two needles. You can see that the ELX705 is slightly longer but it also has this second groove, which they boast will cope with the fast speeds of the overlocker and also prevent shredding of threads and it will cope with thicker threads. So that's your definite plus for having the ELX on your cover stitch machines. You don't have to use these in your overlockers, even though on the label it does say overlock needle. It's actually a cover stitch machine needle. Now I compare five different needles here. So I've got, as you can see, the Singer woven needle up there at the top. Two of them are for woven fabrics. Two of them are for stretch fabrics. And then in the middle, you can see with the second groove, we've got the ELX 705 needle. Now, lengthwise, there's nothing different between the four but you can definitely see there is a length difference between the ELX705. Does it matter which needle I use in my overlocker? And my conclusion is no, it really doesn't matter. 
all these needles have the same size, the same build. There are slight differences between them to accommodate special features like, like metallic thread, embroidery thread, maybe finer fabrics. And the only difference between any of them really is this ELX705, which was designed by Elmer because we know that because of the 705. And that's just because it's a teensy bit longer and has a second group to accommodate a faster working machine. And as for these HA1SPs, again, no, there is nothing different with this machine needle than any other machine. It's a ballpoint needle and it has a rounded tip to allow for jersey stretch fabrics. But if you're not sewing stretch fabrics, then use the needle that you need to use for the fabric you are sewing. Now, hopefully today's video has come to some solution for you and helped you understand that actually you don't really need to worry as much as you perhaps did. And maybe that the needles that you're using in your fabric is more important than the needle that you're worrying about using in your machine and that there isn't really much to it. I have been sewing for decades on overlockers and I know these machines back to front, inside and out, trust me. I have used all sorts of needles. You've got to think about the thread you're using, the fabric you're using and the needle combination. And there are hundreds of different types of fabric, hundreds of different types of threads, hundreds of types of needles that the combination, that perfect stitch is not going to be easily obtained. So you have to go with the best of what's available. And that's, I'm afraid, you've just got to give yourself that 80, 20%. 80% it looks perfect. I mean, let's be honest, who's opening up your garment to inspect it and make sure that it's going to be worthy of walking down a catwalk in Paris? So let's not worry overly too much about it. Just make sure you get the right stitch. You can watch my other videos to help you obtain the right stitch. You do want it to look neat. And with fashion today, showing off these wonderful clothes where the overlocker seams are exposed, we want to make sure we get the stitch looking great. So don't beat yourself up about it. As long as it's holding the garment together and you're feeling great, you're gonna be fine. Have a great day and happy sewing. See you soon. So if you liked today's video, please leave a thumbs up for me below and definitely subscribe so that you can learn lots more. If you would like to support the channel, you can become a member where you can get some perks and extra information. And we have some live chats where you can join in and we've got some giveaways occasionally, but you can also leave me a coffee and I'm going to leave a link in the description below. Thank you so much. Have a great day and I will see you soon.